What's up, Supermoto Bros? I'm Bronson Pierce, and we're back with another Supermoto Bike Build episode. Sorry I've been gone so long. I uh, broke my collarbone and my toe, and then right when I got recovered from that, I went to Italy, went to Canada, went to Illinois, went to South Dakota, and I just got back, so now it's time to add some more parts to this motorcycle. Today, we're gonna be talking about the MDC Short and Swing Arm. As usual, big thanks to all of my partners in this bike build series, and big thanks to MDC Specialized in Supermoto Parts for sponsoring today's video. And here it is, guys. This is the Gecko MDC Swing Arm. Not only is this thing absolutely gorgeous, but it is 35 millimeters shorter than a stock swing arm, which roughly amounts to, I think, around 1.1 inches. So it is significantly shorter, which should be helping with our Supermoto bike in its cornering abilities. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and install this new MDC swing arm. And to start that process, we're gonna need to uninstall our old swing arm. So as you can see here, I started by taking off my rear wheel first. I think I did make a mistake by that because I do have to put my rear wheel back on to be able to get the where the linkage attaches to the swing arm. I couldn't get that bolt out until I put the rear wheel back on. So I'd start, I would recommend starting with this process. And you can see right here, I had to loosen up the, uh, the chain guide as well to be able to get the nut off or the bolt out. And once I loosened that chain guide up, that bolt came right on out. Um, so I would start with that, taking the chain off and then doing the linkage. And then you can take the rear wheel off. Once you get that rear wheel off, then you can take the rear brake system apart off of it. And then you can finally work on what I'm working on right here, where we're taking out the swing arm bolt that attaches to the frame and motor itself. Now that we got that old swing arm off, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up what's kind of under all of this right here because usually you can't really get to it. So I like to keep my things nice and pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up right now. So that way I don't know when the next time I'll be able to get a chance to clean this up. So might as well do it while we have it open. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and remove this chain protector off of the stock swing arm so we can install on our new swing arm. And once we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one because like I said, I like to keep my things like looking nice and pretty. So even though I'm not gonna be using the swing arm, I'm still gonna clean it up because why not? So we're gonna go ahead and take out all of the old stock parts from the stock swing arm because all of these parts actually are gonna be used in the new MDC swing arm, except for the bearings themselves because I don't have a swing arm bearing um, tool remover. And so I actually just bought a new set of bearings from my local Honda shop, Fred Cummings Motorsports. Check them out. Um, they're awesome. Um, they actually even installed the, the new bearings for me as well. So that way I have both swing arms ready to go and uh, they have already bearings in them. So that way it just makes it easy on me if I ever want to switch it back. So just remove everything from the stock swing arm except for the bearings themselves and put those aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and remove the chain guide that uh, is on the stock swing arm so I can install that on the new swing arm as well. I believe that we actually switched out these uh, screws right here. We had a, a flat screw and um, I believe they actually went in from the other side. So we swapped the way they went, uh, they went into the swing arm. Because we run the supermoto wheels, they are wider. And by doing this, it's a little bit more flush and a little bit easier to install your supermoto wheels. Now that we got that chain guide off, let's go ahead and install it on our new swing arm. That way, that part is just done. So like I said, you know, I put the flush side of these bolts through the back side. So that way, when we put our supermoto wheels on, they go on a lot smoother. So once we get these on there, um, the nuts should be on the outside of the swing arm and it's just easier to get to in general. Now we'll go ahead and install that chain protector on the swing arm or the swing arm protector for the chain chain guide 
I don't know exactly what to call this piece, but I just call it the chain guide protector piece. So we're going to go ahead and install that on the uh, MDC swing arm here and I have all the bolts line right up. So which makes it super easy. Um, that's, that's what I love about the swing arm. It's actually like a, a plug and play. It's there's no extra man, like grinding or manufacturing on your end. It just literally take your old one off, install your parts on this new one and install it back in. So like I mentioned earlier, I had Fred Cummings Motorsports install the new bearings for me and this little dust seal right there, that's gonna go on the back side that you can remove or you know you need to put in from your old swing arm. And then we're gonna go ahead and install all these pieces into the new swing arm from the old one. First little piece you wanna put in is the, uh, the bottom washer. And then we have this almost like a bearing looking washer, we put that in. Then we have another smaller washer, it seems, that we put in from there and then we have the dust seal we want to put that on the outside and once we pop, you can just pop that in on you know just make sure it's popped in all the way around the entire circle and then once we get that in we have this last little washer it's like more like a spacer i guess um that should just clip like you can just push it in and it should kind of seed right into that seal and the last piece we have to install is a little insert which we just put right from the inside and it should lock up right against that little spacer and essentially this is what your MDC swing arm should look like once you have that chain guide protector piece, you have all of your bearings and all of your uh, spacers lined up correctly with the seals. Now that we've got the swing arm all nice and ready, we're gonna go ahead and install it back on our bike. And as you can see right here, just pretty much fell right into place for me. Um, what I'm hitting right there with the little hammer, try to make sure that's straight before you put it through the frame because there is little insert in the frame and it has to be lined up i did have to pull back out once or twice so just make sure that's lined up once that's done and all the way through you can put the nut on the other side and tighten it up that way your swing arm is now attached through your motor and your frame again once we get that top bolt nice and tight we're going to go ahead and reconnect the linkage to the actual swing arm itself so this part was a little tricky um especially with trying to record and all that just you know you just gotta get that lined up and um just move that linkage around and twist it back and forth and you'll get it lined up eventually but i really like how the mdc swing arm has this bolt going in from the right side not the left side because as you remember earlier i had to remove the chain guide protector piece to get this uh bolt out and now that they switched sides it actually made it much easier for us to uh to not have to worry about so and once you get that bolt all the way through go ahead and put the washer and nut on on the other side and tighten that up so that way your swing arm is fully connected to your linkage and shock again. So the next step will be to install your rear brake system. I put these bolts in there just to get them threaded and, and make sure that uh, they went in there. And uh, so I also show I wouldn't lose them. So I got those ready to go. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead and install this rear brake system. I'm just gonna pull that on up here. So on this swing arm, this you do have to remove the uh, connector piece right here and flip it around because the bolt holes are actually on the inside, not the outside on the new MDC swing arm. So once we switch that around, we can just put the bolts right in and it lines up perfectly. As for this second piece up here, this one is already set up correctly. It's on the inside, you don't have to switch it. But there is two bolt holes right here, as you can kind of see. Um, I couldn't get it to work. Um, it wouldn't, I don't know what was going on with that essentially, but I just put one bolt, which will be perfectly fine. It's not gonna do anything, but I, as you can see right here, I put one bolt in the top one, so that way it just lines up correctly. And then the other bolt right there, the whole, I, I couldn't really get it to line up or fit. So I think that one bolt will be perfectly okay. No problems at all. So next up is just installing our rear wheel. And it's just like installing on a normal swing arm. That's what I love about this MDC swing arm is it 
it's literally a plug and play. It's no different than normal swing arm, except it is 35 millimeters shorter, which I do love about it. So I'm really excited to get this on the track here in a few days and get the tester out for you guys. And there it is guys, the swing arm fully installed with the rear wheel on there. Um, we're almost there. We only have a few steps left until it's completely ready to go. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and install my chain back on. Um, now the chain is gonna be longer because this swing arm is 35 millimeters shorter. You're gonna probably have to cut a link out if you already have a chain set up for your stock swing arm. Now this DID chain, I'm gonna go ahead and put it, um, put it all the way on and that way I can measure. You can see right here, I'm gonna have to cut a link and a half out. Um, you can't really cut just a half a link out, so it's gonna cut the hat, uh, the one and a half links out. Um, as you can see right here, you know, we just put it in our vice grip. We just uh, grind down the uh, top of the chain and then get our hole punch and pop it through. But now our chain is set perfectly. I do have to adjust these adjusters a little bit because it's got cut, you know, one and a half links out, not just a half a link. So now this chain is set up for this swing arm, this gearing, and uh, it looks absolutely perfect on the tightness of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this rear wheel. So I always put like a cloth or something in the chain, pull it back so it pulls those blocks all up against those uh, adjusters. Then I go ahead and tighten the wheel to make sure it's nice and tight. And that's it guys. That's the in uh, installation of the MDC swing arm. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future episodes. And, you know, make sure to like and comment down below your thoughts on the video progress so far on how the bike is coming along. And share this with a friend if they want to build their own supermoto bike. So I'll catch you supermoto bros in the next one.